Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on Shonyu with over 190k reputation points. In this video, I will be speaking about USD CHF. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect for this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders. So that's COT data. So essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing and how they're moving their orders. And by the end of the video, by using a combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. So this is definitely a video you do not want to miss. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality free trading education. So without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. Starting here from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that at the moment the market is trying to create a double bottom at this level. From here, all this previous rejection to the upside has been created. From here, now the same move to the upside seems to be starting. So from a monthly standpoint, we do have support at this level. The market has already started rejecting it to the upside and there is good probability of getting more potential bullish continuation away from this zone. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what we can see is that we just had a shift from a weekly bearish market to now a weekly bullish market. In fact, we went from creating lower lows and lower highs to now creating higher highs and higher lows. So in a situation like this, more bullish continuation could be created away from this area, pushing potentially this price higher. Going down on the daily time frame, what do we see? Now, from a daily standpoint, the pattern that the market is currently creating is quite clear. We have a strong impulse followed by a correction. In general, after an impulse, if we want to measure the correction, we have to take our Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg. And if we do that, we can see how the market is currently rejecting the area in between the 0.618 and 0.786 Fibonacci retracements, which is also lining up exactly with this previous daily resistance turn support, creating confluence of support inside of this area, which the market has in fact already started rejecting to the upside. So from here, more bullish continuation could be expected away from this area. And in general, inside of a confluence of support zone, you do expect more institutional longing. So let's go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so the COT data, so essentially what hedge funds and institutions in the market are doing. Now, by the way, make sure that you join my free Telegram channel, which you find both in description and here on the screen, so you never miss new updates. Now, Continuing with analysis, as I was saying, let's go and check the data precisely for the CHF. The first thing to keep in mind is that this is actually CHF USD because all currencies on the spot are traded against the USD. So the data that we're seeing is the data for CHF USD. But since we are interested in USD CHF because that is what we're analyzing, we simply have to invert it. And what we can read here is that with the last reports, we have gone from minus 3.9K net positions down to minus 6K net positions showing how institutions have now moved to the bearish side for the CHF, meaning to the bullish side for USD CHF, because institutions shorting the CHF, as I just explained, means that actually they are longing USD CHF. And we can see, in fact, how we now have a quite high amount of longs, one of the highest that we had so far, going from 3.7K to 12.6K longs. Now, as institutions are moving to the bullish side, and since now we are inside of a confluence of support area, there is good probability of getting more institutional longing of USD CHF, which at that point would further increase the probabilities of a potential push higher away from this area. So in a situation like this, what I would expect. Now, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily timeframes combined with the COT data, those are the best timeframes when it comes to the directional aspect of the market. However, when it comes to identifying early shifts in the trend of a market, the best timeframes for that are the intraday timeframes, so for our and lower. Therefore, what I would expect 
is that if this market would shift from an intraday bearish to bullish market at that point, I wouldn't be surprised to see a potential push higher with the market completing this daily impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which you find linked both in the description and on the main page of my YouTube channel here. You have the possibility to gain access to the most complete all-inclusive mentorship program that I have created for you. As soon as you open the website, you will see this video breaking down everything included in the mentorship program. And in the program, you have the possibility to gain access to all my courses and also to the software, so the COT data software, which is exactly the one that we used in this analysis, the trading station software with Telegram signals integration, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. You also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring directly with me, so you will have my personal contact. And if you do continue to scroll down on the website, you will see that Directly from the website, you will have the possibility to register and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the registration process. So at least I suggest that you go and check it out right now. The link is both in description and in the main page of my YouTube channel, and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Also, if you have any suggestions on any topics or pairs that you would like me to cover in the next videos, make sure to drop them in the comments below and I will see you in my next video.